Hi everyone, Daisy here again with another layout. This one is for Spiegel Mom Scraps and I'm also doing um, day seven of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. And I am just showing you the gorgeous October um, sequins there. And um, there are five new ones. They're called Wine Country, Black Eyed Susan, Wildflower Meadow, Fall Festival, and my absolute favorite this month is Graham's Afghan. It's a beautiful mix of purples and pinks. Um, I'm not using that on this layout, however. So at the beginning of the video, I would have included the sketch um, that we are using for today, and it requires a lot of strips of paper. So I'm using my hip kit club, and I am just cutting down some of what uh, the scraps I already have. Um, and then I'm also cutting some strips off of that gorgeous floral paper. These are, I think all of the papers I'm using are from Crepe Paper. The um, not magical forest marigold, the marigold collection, which is what most of the kit is made up of, and just working on my layers. Uh, the sketch called for banners behind the photos, but I chose not to cut them into that. And I'm using two, uh, like approximately three by three size photos of my dog Gambit. Um, I'm still trying to scrap a lot of boys, and so he's my boy dog, so uh, yeah. So he is obsessed with foot pets, which I don't know if anybody else's dog is like this, but he actually prefers if you pet him with your feet. And I don't know if it's because you can get, you know, you could press down harder with your feet, or if we just do it better or if he likes the socks or what I'm not sure but he prefers foot pets and so he'll come and lay down just out of your reach so you can't like bend down and pet him um so you have to like pet him with your you know the your toes kind of so I just snapped these two pictures um one of them he's looking at me like come on mom you can do better than that and the other one he just looks like he's in pure bliss because I'm rubbing his belly with my feet so um, I did back those, one of them with my last little scrap of that, um, wood grain paper, and then the other one with some of that green floral. And then I am cutting out some of these, oh goodness, tags. <laughs> tags is the word I was looking for. Um, and going to layer them up. This is following the sketch. I stick really close to the sketch. Well, I feel like I do anyway. Um, just because it, you know, it's a pretty straightforward sketch and I thought, hey, I can, I, I can make this work for me. So I am creating another little tag using the leftover bits of a tag that I previously cut the top off of. Um, and it says the good life and I'm just making that into my own tag. Can I say tag anymore this video? I'm not sure. Um, and then I'm just going to start adhering everything down. I'm trying to ruffle up the edges a little bit, but I my nails are really short right now um, because of work and I didn't do a very good job, but it's fine. So I'm going to put some fun foam behind my photos here and then get them stuck together so that I can put the last little bit there and then glue everything down. And I'm popping this little tag up on some fun foam. And eventually I'm going to put some foam underneath the tops of the other three tags that I layered up. Um, just to give it some added dimension. And because I'm not putting strings in them, I'm going to put sequins in the little holes. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep yawning. Well, I do know it's 1:30 in the morning, but I shouldn't be tired because this is my usual awake time. <laughs> so anyhow, um, I just popped some of that fun foam underneath those tags and then just trying to figure out the placement of my clusters. So I'm using these gold foil puffy hearts and I'm putting three above the photos and then two around that tag cluster and then working out what other embellishments I'm going to use. Now these pebble stickers that came in the kit 
are gorgeous. Like I really love them. They are in super great cardstock, but they're kind of just things that I'm so struggling to use. So I decided to pull out these two dogs. They don't look like my dogs at all, which I don't know that usually would make it so that I wouldn't use them, but I'm going to use them on this layout because why not? Um, now I'm going through some things I pulled from my stash. This is Heidi Swap. Um, and so I'm pulling out two of those hexagon little tags. One says, you are loved, and one says, hello. And then I'm just looking for anything else that I might be able to use. I'm going to pull off three little, um, oh yeah, I forgot. I add some flowers. This is from Crepe Paper Magical. And I add a couple of the little, like, weed looking flowers and then I'm going to add some yellow pieces. So I'm kind of doing four clusters, sort of, um, but I'm sort of counting the ones on top of the photo as one and then the title area as one and then the tags as one, so I'm okay with it. Um, so my title is just Love This. I used one of those magical stickers and then the this off of the puffy gold um, thicker set and getting everything adhered down and then I'm going to start with my sequins. So I am using the Wildflower Meadow. There are these amazing, 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 amazing large sequins in this gold coral kind of color. Um, and I absolutely loved them. I thought that they matched really well with that green paper. They make me feel like fall, even though the picture isn't like fall, but you know, we're in fall. So, um, and then they also kind of match those little weed flowers that I put over on top of the photo, um, the top photo. <clears throat> And I just think they're gorgeous. So I pulled almost all of them out of my um, my baggie. And I'm adhering them down. I'm just using my T-square ruler to kind of get them straight and spaced out. It doesn't 100% work, but it does a real pretty good job. So, um, And then I'm going to go and add some of the gold sequins out of the Wine Country mix. And these are like a matte gold, and I really like them. I, th I feel like we've had these in a different mix too, and I, I always pull them out, like I gravitate towards them. Um, and then in between each of these gold sequins, I'm going to put a navy blue one, because I realized that I have the navy blue on that hexagon um, and that blue floral paper, and then I have a navy blue tag, and I just wanted another navy kind of addition. And then I'm going to add some of the white sequins out of the sequin mix um, to each one of my tags um, to fill in the holes. And do I do anything else? I literally made this layout like last night, so you think I'd remember, but no. Um, I'm going to go around the outside with my gold pen just to define the edge of the white paper. And I'm going to add a little journaling here. It just says... Foot pets and belly rubs is what you love or something like that. And then that's going to be the end of my layout. So thank you so much for watching. I will have links um, down below so you can check out everything that's in the shop right now. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Head on over to the Facebook group and join there so you can see all the great inspiration. And I will see you again next time. Bye.